the road. Bitter rival Franklin hopes to turn a new page after last season's 2-8 and eight campaign. Veteran coach Tom Haynes and his son Ian, the team's starting quarterback, return, but they'll need to replace the void left by one of the best receivers in all of District 10, Brandon Johnson, from a year ago. The Knights will lean on a mix of youth and experience this fall. Being young and enthusiastic is what's exciting. Uh, it keeps me young and enthusiastic. Uh, they're they're just good kids. They're working hard. They're trying. They're trying to please. I feel well. We've talked a lot about we need as a team to play together instead of worrying about more of ourselves. We need to think of the team. Just the effort go up a little bit more, and we'll just work as a team, get the wins as best as we can. Better tackling, better vision of the field, just knowing where you're at and what your assignments are and what you're supposed to be doing. Franklin makes the long trip to Northeast next Friday night for week one. Our